مقبول هاي الجماعة رانا في الداون تاون تاع سان فرانسيسكو كاليفورنيا لا كونفرنس تاعنا داروها في في الهيلتون دونك حندخلوا للهيلتون حنديروا لونجيستريمون وندخلوا نوريكم الداخل كيفاش يديروا لا كونفرنس هذه وشنو هما التوبيك اللي يحكوا عليهم السلام عليكم مباشر سيريكم فالي توجو معكم مراد اليوم رانا في سان فرانسيسكو مدينة سان فرانسيسكو علاش جيت اليوم سان فرانسيسكو باسكو اليوم عندنا عندنا ان كونفرنس تاع ارتفيشال انتليجنس في السيتي عطو لها السيتي كيف كيف في سان فرانسيسكو وانا حاب نبارتاجي لا فيديو هذه معكم وحنشوفو دوك داروها لا كونفرنس داروها في الهيلتون حنشوفو دوك تبعوني ايا صحة actually doing work in AI doing though, right? Um, they're, they're mostly doing scientific research to make um, the learning process better and better. So either they're advancing learning theory, so you could purely be working on learning science, which would still be an AI discipline, uh, or be trying to borrow ideas from machine learning um, and put it in the context of classrooms and learning, and, and that's the work they've been doing. Um, now this is interesting because it, 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 it does um, a good job at, at, at kind of uh, meeting the needs of the learning goals that people have started off with in those communities, but it doesn't necessarily take in the educational climate into the context. And, and that's completely fine. One would argue that there's pros and cons to each approach. Science should not be kind of hindered by the constraints of some difficult or complex human factors. There are others who would argue otherwise. Um, but what they've been primarily focusing on is this idea of cognitive mastery systems. Um, now, cognitive mastery systems, it's just a big buzzword, complex word to say, you know, doing a lot of tasks 
um, that help you become proficient mentally at something. We're not talking physically, so we're basically saying, you know, most affected by this uh, human capital constraint, uh, where you have well understood tasks of how to teach, but uh, there's a severe limitation or constraint on uh, these systems. So, um, and, and whenever you come up with this scenario where you have tasks that are understood, and you have professionals or experts who do it really well, but you can't get enough people to do it, uh, that's where you have AI can, can position itself pretty well to solve those problems for you. Now, if AI has been around for so long, if I talk about these things like databases and search as AI, why have we only recently started throwing conferences at it, right? Um, and, and I think the, the most important thing to realize is it's because we've made some massive strides in machine learning, primarily supervised machine learning, to the point that everyone thinks that, or many people think that AI is equal to supervised machine learning. Uh, now for the unacquainted in the room, machine learning is basically uh, a, a science where a computer uh, goes on to try to determine some kind of prediction, make a prediction, come up with an approximation function, uh, and it's very statistical na in nature. Um, so example, I, I take my phone, uh, I point it in the sky, and I say, hey, hey phone, can you tell me what the weather is like today? Uh, what do you think is gonna happen? The phone's gonna be like, hey, I don't know, what the hell are you asking me to do? Uh, but it turns out that he, even humans suck at this task, right? You take a three-year-old or four-year-old who's not fully acquainted with the idea of uh, centigrade or Fahrenheit, and, and ask them to look at the sky and say, hey, kiddo, what's, what's the weather like?